Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, myself is Santosh. Mm, mm, I have uh, six years of IT experience. So I worked uh, uh, no, on MSCRM for five years. Uh, I have means I can say like I have a relative experience of uh, uh, five years on MSCRM. Mm, so most of the times uh, like the dotnet guys you no know, one approached me to uh, you know to take the classes on ms crm so microsoft dynamic crm technology mm, so i felt uh, let's make some videos and you know uh, writing some blog so that uh, uh, it will be helpful for uh, most of the people who wanted to learn this microsoft dynamic crm so i'll be here i'll be explaining only technical uh, i'll be giving only you know writing the blog or you know making the videos only technical things so for functional cons consultant it won't be much useful mm. so let's uh, for this today session uh, will be let uh, we'll discuss what is the microsoft dynamics crm uh, and what is the background of Microsoft Dynamics CRM? So I can say we will be discussing uh, for Microsoft Dynamics CRM introduction part. So same as let's see, this is uh, uh, the post same post that you find uh, on my blog. Mm, blog is MSCRM tutorials dot in. So. I thought this shared this information and also the video so that it will be good and it and okay so let's start what is MSCRM and what is background of MSCRM you know uh, for every business like there will be like customer relationship relationship management so every business we have to take uh, we should maintain the uh, we have to do marketing and we have to do sales and after that will be providing the services so let's example some new product is coming into the market so we have to do the publicity nothing but the marketing you have to do some marketing and you have to after doing marketing you'll be selling the product so marketing is a marketing module and selling the product is nothing but the sales module and after selling we'll be giving some guarantee or warranty on that so that will be considered as a service so crm is, is nothing but you can say the marketing sales and services three phases you can consider as a you know crm so on this crm uh, uh, so i think most of the people are aware of like platforms like with already we have like sap crm and oracle crm salesforce crm table crm and sugar crm so microsoft also uh, developed an application uh, you know package solution package for crm so that is nothing but called as microsoft dynamic crm so we shortly will call it as ms crm so what actually it is um, what that application how they have developed what uh, what technology they have been used and so obviously it's a uh, microsoft so they'll be using the asp.net so microsoft uh, that MSCRM application is nothing but aspx no asp.net website um we can simply say as i mentioned in the document MSCRM application is nothing but asp.net website developed to manage customer relationship management in a business mm, so i'm not sure about the dates but uh, MSCRM released uh, till now like first the initial version is MSCRM 1.0 after that 1.2 and directly 1.2, 3.0 and 4.0 even I'm not sure uh, this 1.0, 1.2 and 3.0 I know I didn't work on 4.0 but I had seen the um, this 4.0 application so and after that I started working on some MSCRM 2011 so there is a huge difference from you no know, MSCRM 4.0 and um, MSCRM 2011 there will be huge difference so now i don't think so that you'll find msr 4.0 projects it will be very less now more people are mostly using msr 2011 after that 2013 and 2015 and 20 online version is available on 2016 mm, so now uh, now you can find msr 2011 projects also but uh, now the new clients the new projects that are and they want and the people who wanted to use msr they are going for mostly 
from 2015 uh, to our online uh, so now the old projects which are present in like 2011 or 4.0 they are you know we are doing this you know we'll be doing upgrading process uh, like uh, 2011 to 2013 and 2013 2015 and upgrading process that also will discuss in our coming post it's a huge process and um, it will be coming here so msn 2011 2013 and 2015 currently 2016 so as I mentioned, currently most of the projects are in 2011 and upgrading to MSCRM 2013 and 2013 online. Also, MSCRM applications are in both on premises and online. As you mentioned, there are online also. So from 2011, it started giving online. Um, so online in the sense, you know, right, um, I'll be discussing in my next post uh, deployment types that on premise in the on premise uh, there are two types of deployment one is on premise and then there is online mm, so on premise is nothing but um, no databases so everything will be maintained by the business and online in the sense just will be having the application and everything will be maintained by the microsoft so that will be discussing in our next post okay so main thing uh, that i wanted to um, tell you guys so the guys who wanted to learn this microsoft dynamic crm uh, should have a basic knowledge of uh, not basic it should be good if you have you no know, uh, some knowledge on uh, c shop asp.net and javascript and uh, some sql technologies sorry sql so that will be very helpful it should we should have because uh, the customizations like it i have as i have already mentioned that um, it's nothing but a asp.net uh, uh, web application it's a web application developed by the uh, microsoft so if you want it just it will begin uh, will be um, we wanted to do some customization according to the requirements of the client so we have to do we'll be doing writing um some c-shop code uh, to uh, c-shop or uh, javascript to achieve the requirements of the client so for client side uh, script will be using the javascript uh, that javascript syntax will be completely different uh, that's what you're thinking uh, we should learn this job uh, will be learn the means the syntax will be different uh, for this mscrm so that also will be we are going to learn and um, will be we should learn which is uh, she shop or vb whatever um, which in which area you will be comfortable you can use any of any of them um, so you should that's why we should learn uh, you should have knowledge on c shop uh, and uh, uh, C-Shop and JavaScript and SQL also SQL will be mostly will be using then some per uh, reports so for that we have to need some SQL knowledge we'll be having some reports also in reports so that's the thing and uh, what else um, um, as of now I can say for introduction if this is so I can this is what I can Tell you guys so nothing but again will what will be going through what points are that covered just yes, nothing but it's uh, just to have some basic knowledge as i already mentioned to you that i'm going to provide you only technical knowledge these are the basic things that you have to know uh, so that's why i'm explaining all this stuff so mscrm is nothing but you know kind of to handle uh, is nothing but mscrm is nothing but i can say sp dot website developed by the microsoft Earth. Microsoft to handle the customer relationship management as what we have like SAP CRM and Oracle CRM, Sugar CRM and Salesforce CRM. So and this MS CRM is available both on premise and online. And um, the versions are like 1.0, 1.2, 3.0, 4.0, 2011 and 2013 and 2015 and 2016. It now it supports mobiles also. So that also will be discussing and uh, as i told we should have some we should have knowledge on uh, .NET and uh, at the same time sql and just uh, javascript uh, we should have the knowledge on this so i think uh, just go through the blog um, in the post also so it's a base i hope i have given some basic knowledge about this mscrm it's not much but uh, um, from my point of view for a technical guy it will be enough and we'll be discussing more points in my coming post so that slowly you'll get the knowledge and everything so thanks if you like this video please share it with your friends thank you so much